one man's treasure is another man's fill in the blank. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. Today we are in Tbilisi, Georgia, at the Dry Bridge Market. Not only is it an antique market, but there are many goods that can be found from the previous Soviet Union. filled with goods, merchandise, antiques, and other knickknacks, the Dry Bridge Antique and Flea Market has the proverbial everything you're looking for in terms of merchandise. Its specialty, though, are goods that were Russian-made and came from the Soviet Union. <laughs> When it's said that the uh, Drybridge flea market has a whole lot of stuff and maybe even proverbially everything, they have everything. When you are short of a fur hat or a gas mask, how much? 100 lari? And the, ga and the gas mask? So 120 lari. Can I, can I, can I try it? Well, perhaps not, but it was worth a try. Is there any coin that catches your eye? A lot of them. Anything in particular you would look for? I was just telling you, I had this one. This is an old uh, Soviet Union ruble. I had this uh, at home long back. And is it of any, is it of any value today? No, it's not. Zero value. <laughs> what a lumpy language Georgian is. There's not a straight line amongst any of these characters. Let's, uh, let's see if the typewriter does work. I'll keep my hands on ASDF. Yeah, it works, but I'll admit I'm not in the market for a typewriter. However, the, uh, the deer antlers have caught my fancy. Okay, I have a legit question. Which is worth more, the Lada or the pedal cars on top of the Lada? Perhaps more appropriately, which one functions better? How old are these cars? How old are they? Oh, it's 1970 years. It's 1960 uh, years. It's 1950 years. It's 1970 years. It's 300 lari, 250 lari. It's 150 lari. It's 500 lari. So uh, approximately a hundred dollars. Gas masks, road maps, expired Soviet passports. The negotiations for a purchase of a of a Soviet passport. The transaction is about to commence. Digging deep into his wallet, I think the purchase price is 10 Liri, and yes, we have seen it. The purchase of a Soviet passport. Oh, this looks cool. A 1960s phone with the Soviet sickle and the hammer. Neat. Now you can call the Kremlin anytime you want. Or, perhaps more appropriately, they can listen anytime they want. In addition to being an antique market and a place to purchase old Soviet goods, Drawbridge is also a center for the local artists. Now remember, when you draw me, I've got two different color eyes. Many, many times. <laughs> two days. It takes one. Uh, Mm -hmm. it, it takes two days to make one doll. Yes. Okay. Uh, a puppet. Puppet. A puppet. Okay. So describe the doll. What is he? What is the? What is he Georgian wearing? Georgian boys. Okay. Uh, please. Georgian flag. Okay. 
I continue to be amazed as to what I'm finding at the Dry Bridge Flea and Antique Market. So, well, I have to ask. How much? How much for the hatchet? How much? Two hundred lari. Two hundred lari. That sounds about a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars for this axe. Thank you for allowing me to axe. What is this? This uh, crocodile journal. Crocodile journal. And so it's called crocodile journal. Crocodile journal. Okay. And yes, what uh, is it? Uh, print uh, it. Uh, 78 years. Okay. 78 years. And propaganda. Propaganda. Soviet propaganda. Soviet propaganda. And did, was this printed in Tbilisi or no, no. in Moscow? Uh, this is in Moscow. Okay. Uh, it's Pravda. Oh, that was Pravda. Yes. Pra oh, so that's from Pravda. Pravda. See, I know what Pravda <laughs> is. The yes. truth. Yes. Is there anything in particular you're looking for? Uh, propaganda, something real, Russian propaganda. And so what interests you in these posters? Only black, blue, pink, red. It's, it's not process, it's, it's, uh, it's full color, yellow, blue, red, black. The real meaning of uh, advertising, it's the truth, it's telling the truth, but not all the truth, like they did in uh, Russia. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh.